हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल हेलो एवरीवन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज 11.8 फॉर द प्रीवियस वन प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी देयर यू कैन आल्सो विजिट आवर वेबसाइट द वेबसाइट लिंक इज ऑन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो हियर सम नंबर 1 राइट द इक्वेशन ऑफ द फैमिली ऑफ लाइंस सो हियर द फर्स्ट वन with y intercept minus 3 okay so as here y intercept minus 3 that means the y intercept of the family is given to be minus 3 therefore each member of the family passes through the point 0 comma minus 3 okay i repeat as here y intercept of the family is given to be minus 3 then each member of the family passes through the point 0 comma minus 3 then by using point slope form the equation of such family of the lines are its y here minus so minus minus plus so y plus 3 then here m and then x minus 0 so that means here y then that equal to here mx minus 3 okay y equal to mx minus 3 where m is the parameter remember that where m is the parameter now number 2 for number 2 with slope 2 okay for number 2 with slope 2 so as you know that here y equal to mx plus c is the general equation so that means here if slope equal to 2 then y equal to 2x plus c where c is the parameter okay where c is the parameter now the third one for the third one parallel to line 2x plus 3y minus 5 that one equal to 0 so here you know that the formula suppose you have a line ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and if you want to find out the parallel lines with this one here your answer ax plus by plus k that one equal to 0 okay so by the formula here your answer will be 2x plus 3y plus k that one equal to 0 okay where k is the parameter now the last one number 4 for number 4 perpendicular to the line 3x plus 7y that one equal to 8 okay so you can write down this one as 3x plus 7y minus 8 equal to 0. Now suppose here you have a line ax plus by plus c equal to 0, then the perpendicular line will be here bx minus ay plus k equal to 0. Okay, so here your required line will be as here a b interchange the coefficient of x and y interchange. So here you can write down 7x okay here you can write down 7x then here minus 3y plus k that one equal to 0 where k is the parameter now next one sum number 2 find the equation of the line through the intersection of the lines first one 4x minus 3y plus 7 equal to 0 and second one 2x plus 3y plus 5 equal to 0 and the point here minus 4 5 so here suppose you have two lines first one is l1 and second one is l2 and if these two lines are intersect each other so here the condition l1 plus k l2 that one equal to 0 okay so according to that condition you can write down here as here l1 so here 4x minus 3y plus 7 then here plus k into second one 2x plus 3y plus 5 that one equal to 0 okay so now here if you multiply this one so it will be our 4x minus 3y plus 7 plus 2kx then here 3ky and then here 5k that one equal to 0 okay so if x will be common it becomes 4 plus 2k as here if y common it becomes 3k minus 3 then next one here 5k plus 7 that one equal to 0 now as the required line 
passes through the point minus 4 5 then definitely the value of x equal to minus 4 and value of y equal to 5 so let's put down the value here it's minus 4 so 4 plus 2k then here 5 it will be here 3k minus 3 then here 5k plus 7 so from this equation you can easily find out the value of k so that will equal to here minus 16 minus 8k plus 15k minus 15 plus 5k plus 7 that one equal to 0 okay so as here you have minus 16 minus 15 that is minus 31 okay now 31 minus 7 that is 24 so you can write down here minus 24 and here 8k sorry 5k and 15k it's 20k so 20 minus 8 that one equal to here 12k that one equal to 0 so here you can write down k equal to 24 by 12 that one equal to 2 okay that one equal to 2 now here you have to find out the equation so here the equation here let's put down the value of k in the equation number 1 so x into 4 plus 2 into 2 it's 4 then here y into 2 into 3 6 minus 3 then here 5 into 2 10 plus 7 that one equal to 0 okay so final answer 8x then here 3y and then here 17 equal to 0 now next sum number 3 find the equation of the straight line perpendicular to 2x minus 5y plus 3 equal to 0 and having x intercept okay having x intercept minus 4 so as this line so first you have to find out the line which is perpendicular with this one so here the given line is 2x minus 5y plus 3 so here the equation of the family of lines perpendicular to equation number 1 okay perpendicular to equation number 1 that will be here minus 5x then here minus 2y plus k that one equal to 0 or you can also write down this one as 5x plus 2y minus k that one equal to 0 okay where k is the what parameter now as here x intercept minus 4 that means here y equal to 0 so if y equal to 0 so as here y equal to 0 then from equation number 2 you can write down here 5x equal to k that means here x equal to k by 5 okay now for the required member of the family which makes x intercept minus 4 so you can write down here k by 5 that one equal to minus 4 so that implies k equal to here minus 20 okay so here your equation the final equation that one equal to here 5x plus 2y you have to just put down the value of k in equation number 2 so 5x plus 2y here minus minus it becomes plus 20 that one equal to 0 as your answer now next sum number 4 this one is the last sum for this video so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel so here a line is drawn perpendicular to 5x equal to y plus 7 find the equation of the line if the area of the triangle formed by the line with the coordinate axis that one is 5 square units so as here the given line is 5x equal to y plus 7 you can write down this one as 5x minus y minus 7 that one equal to 0 put it number 1 okay now the equation of family of lines perpendicular to 1 here is minus x minus 5y plus k that one equal to 0 okay put it equation number 2 now here if you put down x equal to 0 in equation 2 then you will get here uh, it's minus 5y that one equal to here minus k so y equal to k by 5 and if you put y equal to 0 in equation 2 then here x equal to here k 
so now here if you draw the here axis this one is a straight line so that point will be here k comma 0 and that one will be here uh, 0 comma k by 5 now if you want to find out the area of the triangle so here the formula half into within mod k and again within mod k by 5 because half into base into height so here you can write down its k square k square by 10 okay k square by 10 and according to the problem this k square by 10 that one equal to 5 it's given so that means here you can write down k square equal to here 50 so that means k equal to root 50 now root 50 means plus minus 5 root 2 okay so root 50 means plus minus 5 root 2 so now here your answer just put down the value of k put down the value of k in equation number 2 so as here minus x minus 5y first write down 5 root 2 is positive and second one minus x minus 5y then minus 5 root 2 that one equal to 0 so first answer x plus 5y minus 5 root 2 that one equal to 0 and second answer here x plus 5y plus 5 root 2 that one equal to 0.